Quantum Computer vs. Classical Computer What distinguishes quantum computing from traditional computers? What can a classical computer not do that a quantum computer can? What dangers do quantum computers pose to modern society and international trade? We explore these issues along with some of the differences between traditional and quantum computers. Qubits A quantum computer stores data using a quantum phenomenon known as superposition or qubits. A qubit can be either a zero, a one, or both simultaneously, unlike the bits of data in a traditional computer, which can only be either a zero or a one. Qubits may conduct multiple calculations at a time at speeds that are faster than what is practically possible for classical computers thanks to their ability to exist in an indeterminate state. This makes it possible to find solutions to several real-world issues that would otherwise take a traditional computer hundreds or even thousands of years to complete. Because of this, researchers predict that quantum computing will eventually have a wide range of uses. Quantum security and communications will likely become commonplace in the near future. Quantum authentication will facilitate data and information security, while quantum technology will fuel message encryption for more secure messaging. Comparison between quantum and classical computing. Generally, traditional software development converts the source code of a programming language into platform-specific, machine code, and operations, gates, performed on tens of thousands of transistors. In quantum computing, qubits are manipulated by quantum gates in a manner similar to how bits are manipulated by classical gates. An algorithm typically requires many parallel calculations, which can take time on traditional computers. In quantum programming, however, numerous alternatives are considered simultaneously and an algorithm is run on each option in one step. Finding ways to express quantum applications using high-level abstractions and compiling and applying them to quantum simulators is an important opportunity for the development of quantum computing. To mimic the results of a real quantum computer, a simulator can emulate the expected behavior based on qubits and quantum gates. When quantum computers are eventually ready for use in practical applications, this approach can be used to work on quantum algorithms and make them better so they can be implemented. However, it will be slower than a real quantum computer because the classical software used on this device has to replicate the quantum processes, and that slows down the speed. How do quantum computers work? Traditional computers have nothing on quantum computers. They often have a complex network of wires and tubes and resemble a chandelier. The unusual construction of quantum computers is meant to shield the sensitive qubits from external electrical, magnetic, and thermal disturbance. Liquid helium is used to chill quantum computers to a temperature that is close to absolute zero, minus 273.15 degrees Celsius or minus 459.67 degrees Fahrenheit. On a superconducting device, the qubits in a quantum computer are organized in the shape of a chessboard. Niobium, a metal that is as ductile as iron and as strong as titanium, is used to make the tiny capacitors known as qubits. The qubit charges vibrate, and the tiny antennae in between them react to microwave signals. What are the applications of a quantum computer? The processing of activities requiring massive volumes of data and computation is best suited for quantum computers. This is made possible by the superior performance of quantum computers over traditional computers. A quantum computer can be helpful for the following tasks. Machine learning, deep learning and algorithm training. When it comes to difficult tasks like speech recognition or computer vision, machine learning and deep learning models can take a very long time to train. The process of training a model can take weeks, even in data centers with hundreds of GPUs. Training times could be drastically reduced with quantum computers, allowing us to accomplish more in the same amount of time. Pharmaceutical Development and Computational Chemistry Drug design has recently been hastened with computers, yet chemicals and drugs have traditionally been created through trial and error. But even with modern technology, it is difficult for conventional computers to predict interactions between chemical components and their consequences on people. We may finally be able to treat cancer thanks to quantum computing, and it may even help us create medicines for new diseases very immediately. Monetary Modeling Companies and investors can assess the viability of their investment ideas using specialized tools. The Monte Carlo method is one such tool. To provide investors with a range of possible outcomes, Monte Carlo models simulate a process hundreds or thousands of times. Financial modeling is another area where quantum computers can be useful because repeated simulation can be time-consuming and the speed of a quantum computer can dramatically speed this up. Cybersecurity Undoubtedly, 
Quantum computing poses a severe cybersecurity risk, but it will also have positive effects. We will be able to increase the security and predictability of encryption methods with the help of technologies like quantum random number generators. Weather prediction. The accuracy of weather predictions depends on a wide range of factors, including air temperature, humidity, and pressure. The computation required to account for all of these factors is significant. Additionally, traditional computers find it very difficult to anticipate the weather on a bigger scale, such as the world level. Quantum computing can not only improve weather forecasting, but it can also help us foresee global weather shifts, which might be very helpful for combating climate change. Technically speaking, a quantum computer would be able to complete almost any task that we can now complete on classical computers. However, employing a quantum computer for web browsing or other comparable light tasks would be expensive and ineffective given how difficult it is to keep them stable and error-free. In the near future, quantum computers are unlikely to displace conventional computers. We could use large-scale quantum computers to address high-volume computational issues once they are sufficiently matured. Meanwhile, conventional computers would continue to be used for simpler tasks. We now show you 10 differences between quantum computers and traditional computers. 1. Quantum mechanics controls quantum computers. Quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that acts at the level of atoms, is the foundation of quantum computing. Traditional computers, on the other hand, follow the rules of classical physics. 2. Quantum computing keeping data in qubits. Bits are used in traditional computers to carry out functions. Bits can only be valued at 0 or 1. A qubit can be either a 0, a 1, or both simultaneously, unlike the bits of data in a traditional computer. The difference between qubits and conventional zeros and ones is what makes quantum computers so quick. 3. Use of quantum computing use of linear algebra. Bits use Boolean algebra because they can only return a result of 0 or 1. In contrast, the definition of operations in qubit states in quantum computing includes matrices and linear algebra. 4. Qubits increase quantum computer power exponentially. The power of quantum computers grows exponentially as we increase the number of qubits because qubits may simultaneously store 0 and 1. Contrarily, the number of transistors in traditional computers increases linearly. 5. Probabilistic programs are used in quantum computing. Each potential output in quantum programming has a corresponding probability. The output of traditional programs is deterministically either 0 or 1. 6. Reversible quantum computing operations. Reversibility is a requirement for quantum circuits, which simply means that we must be able to deduce the input state of an operation from its result. Although they can be, most classical circuits are not reversible. 7. Data constraints on quantum computers. The no cloning theorem states that it is impossible to duplicate any random unknown quantum state. This has a significant impact on quantum computers' ability to duplicate data, a problem that doesn't exist for conventional computers. 8. Quantum computers perform data-intensive tasks better. It is unlikely that quantum computers will ever completely replace conventional computers. Quantum computers are unsuitable for jobs that classical computers can perform far more effectively due to their high maintenance requirements and high cost. Quantum computing will initially only be used for extremely demanding applications like AI or medicine research. 9. Room temperature operation of quantum computers is impossible. For reliable operation, quantum computers must be kept close to absolute zero. Otherwise, qubits degrade and lose data. This is one of the key reasons why operating quantum computers is challenging. 10. Scaling quantum computers is difficult. We can essentially grow traditional computing technologies to any size. This scalability has made practically indefinitely scalable compute resources accessible to everyone via cloud platforms. Scaling of quantum computers is currently quite challenging since qubits are very sensitive to external factors. So, guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.